Hey everyone, welcome to Alchemy Star. So, very excited to share with you Max Breakthrough Reinhardt. Don't ask me why. Why I did it. I obviously did it because I really wanted to prove how... How impressive her kit is. Because she's a limited time banner. You only, you know, we can only get her now. And once we don't get her, you know get a copy at least we will she will be dropping after or on december 31st 2022 which is a long time which is six months so right now i'm gonna prove to you guys if you want to go crazy be my guest but you don't have to go crazy with her with her breakthrough so um i'm gonna show you this guy so again she's she's at max breakthrough um the only valuable thing that you should do is at least get two copies for this banner alone because of the preemptive strike without this one you're not really gonna maximize her abilities because she is really built for preemptive strike she first turn clearing uh bosses minions multi-tile bosses again she really needs this so you have to bring her at least to max so to breakthrough three okay breakthrough three at least then moving to max breakthrough this is also very very um you know uh, important down the line because you get to lessen the skill cooldown by one round which um before we go to the active skill i'm gonna show you i already have her at um level 10 for the equipment which is a plus three percent attack buff we'll talk about that later and affinity is at seven okay going here attack skill as you can see preemptive strike cooldown is now three instead of four because she's at max breakthrough which really helps her put out finale um sometimes it overlaps with the one that because because finale does you know does um reset so we'll discuss that later we'll start first with the equipment okay gains finale and each finale increases attack by three percent so three percent is big because each finale is gained really through um active skill and at the end of each round so at the end of each round not at the start of each round so if you use active skill uh if you have preemptive strike then you have five then you have one after one round the five there if you have preemptive strike you could actually use it already and do tons of buffs to your team um increases attack by three percent this is per finale so it's if it's five it's plus 15 uh, to Thunder or Illumina Federation Aurorians and get and 50% finale bonus on their attack. So if you have five initially, that's roughly 15 divided by two, that's 7.5%. That's the that's only the initial attack. So you can eventually stack this up in the in, in, in the rounds further if you haven't destroyed the enemy yet. So that is how bonkers this equipment skill is. Because Gains one point at the end of the round, up to 20 points, so maximum. So there's a possibility. The, the most that I've seen that I've gained was 10 or 11, but it's up to 20. There, so there, it's a possible that you can gain up to 20. Gains an additional 5 regardless of the limit while in finality state. Okay, um, Additional gain points will be cleared when finality state is over. That is what I meant. So finality state is only for two rounds. So buffs, maximize them when you have finale points available. Maximize them because they're available for two rounds again, as I mentioned. So we'll go up. Chain combo. Three is actually, is actually good already because this one, the three, the surrounding cluster, the nearby enemies, this is a sure hit. And this is a wide area or range already once you go to nine which is roughly four enemies and four surrounding clusters this is actually bonkers at 160 
it's 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 actually decent. You don't really need to go beyond 160. She has a lot of damage. And at 14, everybody gets hit at 160. So 160, 150 at 9, and 140 at 3. 140% damage. So again, chain combo, you can maximize her by using um we'll talk to team composition later so i'm gonna gonna reserve that for for later so um, the last thing that i'm going to discuss is her active skill this has a lot this plays with her combo chain combo and equipment skill selects any four tiles and summons an air raid beacon last for two rounds so this is it four tiles you don't need to stick them together they can be placed anywhere within within the map and enters finality state for two rounds. The finality state, I, I mean, is finale. Um, the buff takes effect for two rounds, depending on how many finale points you have. While in the finality state, normal attacks extend diagonal tiles, which is a good one because it deals additional attacks, especially if you um, need to maximize your chain combo, moving around the enemy. And where were we? Meanwhile, chain combo skill deals an additional half of the current damage to the tile where the air raid beacon is located and the four surrounding tiles. So not only is the damage in the in the center of the beacon, but the four surrounding tiles. So it's like an X. When dealing damage multiple times to the same tile, each following final damage is reduced by 20, which is okay. Gains an additional five finale regardless of the limit while in the finality state. Okay, so very, 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 very efficient kit. That is what I'm saying. And um, she's OP, guys. She's She can be at the level of Azure. She is even at, even at, ma even at Breakthrough 3. So let's uh, go over to um, the ideal team composition for her. Um, I'm going to talk about uh, Lightning Team Comp. So, this is it. If you really want to maximize damage for her, you have to bring her. It's good that you put her at Captain Nemesis for, obviously, Nemesis has to have Preemptive Strike. Uh, Gronru, both converters. Florine here is going to add additional buffs. I um, just want to give you guys a short review on Florine so that um, you may appreciate what uh, what I mean because she is a must in this team. Let us... Um, Florine, where are you? Okay. So for Florine, obviously the buffs that I you know mentioned was this one. The equipment ability. So damage for all thunder uh, or in chain combos of different ranks are increased by four, six, and eight. It's an additional buff. So if you really want to put buff over buff, and this is it. Then next is going to be uh, obviously Florine's um, uh, release of the chain combo twice. So mayhem after mayhem, they are going to deal damage for you. Okay, so let's go back to the main screen here. Go back to formation and um, okay, Ami Mori here is your secondary secondary damage dealer. You can actually select any other lightning that you would want. Um, you could have Michael. You could have you know. Uh, you could have Requiem depending on the stage. But definitely, I am going more with Amimori because Amimori gives this lineup more flexibility. Number one, because of teleport. Um, not even for her damage. Her damage is just complementary to Reinhardt. Um, Amimori will be your, will be your uh, what do you call this? Your final damage because of the combo that she does. Florine is also here. And... This team is bonkers. So let's have uh, somehow um, a try of how they are, you know, how they are performing. I actually, no, not that one. Spire, we'll, we'll try to use them in Spire. The same lineup that I mentioned earlier. 
So, do wanna do it challenge here. So, for this one, also, if the stage calls for a healer, you can swap out Florine for Roy or the other uh, five star healer that we have. I, I don't use her anymore, I use Roy because Roy has more healing and I've maxed him out already. So, Roy is your healer, swap out with Florine, and this is your lineup. So, for this one, I'm gonna deal a lot of damage, so I will bring Florine. Okay, so let's try this one out. Um, look at the damage, guys, on how you can clear stages easily with compounded buffs. Buff on top of buffs. So we'll see later on how we're going to clear it. And uh, more or less, um, kind of a demo on how to use active skill of Reinhardt. So I'm excited to show it to you guys because I've had a couple of runs with uh, Reinhardt and um, also just a clue. You can also use um, Barton Deathblades here because his secondary element is actually Thunder. So again, if you want to play around with this team with Barton, I'll probably showcase that in the future. But for now, this is going to be it. Okay, so number one, we're going to be using her. Um, you can actually put it anywhere. Anywhere here, anywhere there. But I'm going to put it in this big guy so that he gets twisted immediately. So there is splash damage if there are, you know, if there are enemies around, then splash damage can happen. Um, not you, if I use Gronru. No, I think I'm gonna use Gronru. Okay. So let's do this. Where is... Okay. So I'm not gonna use... Let's use Slurry now. I'm excited to show you guys this one. So, double chain. I'm gonna go to the route up there. So, as you can see, uh, if you've entered, by the time you click three, it's already a large area. That is actually more for Reinhardt's, um, Reinhardt's uh, chain combo. So, finality has been activated and buffs are are in play. Okay, so all three. Let's see how big the damage is for max breakthrough. 7,000. 7,000. Chain combo. Ow! 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 <laughs> That hurt. That hurt. So as you can see, it's a lot of damage. Really, really a lot of damage. Amimori will, you know, will just be there. Just be there. So hold on to your seats while we try to do this. So let's do this. Okay. Not there. This is only four. Or three. Three in that area again. Four chain combo. It's still big, right? Still, still have that buff. <laughs> Even a three chain combo. <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna just. Uh, Bully my way through this one. See the damage. It's so big. <laughs> Even for a basic attack. So one more. One more left. And... Uh, we're gonna... Teleport ourselves there. 
I'm not using Amimori as one single blow. I'm actually using her more really for her teleport plus additional damage. So for, let's see how big the damage is. 7,000. And let's finish this off. So again, again um, key here would be Florine. Your converters. She really needs a lot of converters um, to deal that uh, bulk of a damage. I'm at ten percent. Why? I'm gonna die here. But anyway, I just want to prove a point on the damage itself. So, oh, I still have can still clear this one so let's uh... let's try to clear this one with 10% life wave 3 there you go that big of a damage guys that big let's uh... she's dead anyway um I've, you know, pointed out my point. It's just crazy damage for her. So if you want to max breakthrough, the overlap or the overlap, as you can see there, is quicker in terms of active skill. So you get to have more finale points for more rounds in the future, um, especially if your cooldowns are short. So that is it, guys. Okay, so just want to give you my final thoughts on her, her banner. If you can sacrifice a little bit, focus on pulling for her, get her up to max. If you cannot, really, Breakthrough 3 is enough at this point. Just, um, I was just fortunate last night that I got her at max Breakthrough, and I'm really happy that I got her there, and uh, she's bonkers. Really, um, if you pair her with um, the right, no, if you team her up with the right Aurorians in her team, as you can see there, then she is going to have tremendous damage. So far for mobs, I think for bosses, she's definitely going to kick some butt there. So again, guys, thank you very much for staying this far. So comments down below, please. Um, what do you think of uh, Reinhardt Max Breakthrough? Um, also, you know, comment down on your polls. How did you do for the banner? And thank you for staying this far. Take, take care, guys. Stay safe. This is the warden, and I'm out of here. <laughs>